this. It's 11 p.m. and you're still at your desk trying to fix a broken data pipeline before tomorrow's big presentation. The pressure is on and you're running on fumes. Sound familiar? Is being a data analyst a stressful job in 2024? Well, the short answer is yes, but it is not all doom and gloom. With the right tools and support, a data analyst career can be balanced and rewarding. In today's video, we are diving into the challenges and rewards of being a data analyst and sharing some tips to manage stress. First, let's talk about what a data analyst does. Think of a data analyst as a data detective. They collect, clean, and analyze data to help businesses make informed decisions. Sounds straightforward, right? Well, not exactly. These tasks involve a lot of juggling, from collecting messy data to cleaning out errors, analyzing patterns, and turning them into easy-to-understand visuals. Each step can be demanding, and when you're doing this under tight deadlines, things can get stressful really fast. So, what exactly causes stress for data analysts? Let's break it down. First is tight deadlines. Deadlines can create a lot of pressure, especially when you're trying to deliver accurate insights quickly. Imagine you're a data analyst at a retail company and it is the day before a big sales event. The marketing team suddenly requests a report detailing customer buying patterns from the last holiday season. To manage the stress, it's crucial to prioritize and organize your tasks effectively. Start with the most important tasks first. Identify which projects need immediate attention, like gathering data on customer behavior that directly impacts the upcoming sales event. Then, utilize task management tools. Tools like Trello or Asana can help you break down the report into sections, like data collection, analysis, and visualization, keeping you on track and ensuring nothing falls through the cracks. Finally, break larger projects into manageable chunks. Instead of trying to analyze everything at once, focus on key metrics that will drive the marketing strategy, such as top selling products or peak buying times. Second, skill gaps. Feeling overwhelmed by the need to learn new tools or languages can be a major stressor. For example, as a new data analyst at the tech startup, you're excited to contribute but suddenly face the expectation to implement a predictive model using Python and a new library you've never encountered before. To ease this burden, focus on improving your time management. Try time blocking or the Pomodoro method. Dedicate specific time slots every day to learning Python basics and practicing with a new library allowing for focus sessions followed by breaks to absorb the material. Also, set personal deadlines for learning new skills. Create a timeline to master the predictive model within a month, which gives you a structured approach without feeling rushed. Next, limit multitasking. Focus on mastering one skill at a time, like first understanding the library's functions before trying to integrate them into your ongoing projects. Third, data quality issues. Messy or incomplete data can make analysis a nightmare. As a data analyst in the healthcare sector, you might be tasked with analyzing patient data to evaluate the effectiveness of a new treatment. However, you discover that many entries are missing vital information. To handle the stressor, it's essential to make a habit of upskilling regularly. For that, embrace continuous learning. Dedicate time each week to learn about data cleaning techniques like using tools such as OpenRefine, preparing you for challenges without feeling overwhelmed. You can also join online courses or workshops. Consider enrolling in a data quality workshop that teaches best practices for cleaning and preparing data, ensuring that you're better equipped to handle messy data sets in the future. You can even create a structured learning plan. For example, set a goal to improve your data cleaning skills by completing one online module each week, so you're constantly enhancing your abilities. Fourth, Communication gaps. Explaining complex data findings to non-technical colleagues can lead to misunderstandings and stress. 
Imagine presenting production efficiency analysis to plant managers who are unfamiliar with statistical terms. To alleviate this, it is essential to set clear boundaries. Make sure you stick to your work hours as much as possible. When you keep a consistent schedule, you're more likely to prepare adequately for meetings, leading to clear communication during presentations. You may also communicate your availability clearly. For instance, let your team know that you're free to answer questions during specific time hours only, reducing the pressure to respond immediately and allowing time for thoughtful responses. Creating a designated workspace might also help. Having a specific area for work helps you mentally separate work tasks from personal time, allowing you to focus better on preparing clear and understandable presentations. Fifth and last, heavy workloads. An ever-growing to-do list can be overwhelming. As a data analyst in a consulting firm, your calendar might be filled with back-to-back -back meetings and urgent client requests. To manage the stress, effective communication is key. Regularly check in with your teammates. Schedule brief daily check-ins to discuss ongoing projects, preventing last-minute surprises when unexpected tasks arise. Also simplify your language when presenting data. For example, when discussing results, use analogies or simple graphs to explain findings, making it easier for all stakeholders to understand implications without jargon. Encourage open feedback as well. Foster a collaborative environment where team members feel comfortable sharing concerns about workload or timelines, creating a support network that helps manage stress. At the end of the day, being a data analyst may come with its challenges, but it also offers immense satisfaction and growth opportunities. By recognizing and addressing the various stressors we discussed, from tight deadlines to skill gaps, you can turn potential overwhelm into manageable tasks. Remember, it's not just about crunching numbers. It's about translating data into actionable insights that drive decisions and make an impact. With the right strategies in place, you can thrive in this dynamic field, finding joy in the problem-solving process and the stories behind the data. And if you're looking for support in your journey, Interview Query has a wealth of resources designed specifically for data analysts. Whether you're preparing for interviews, looking to upskill, or navigating your career once you're in the job, we've got you covered with guides, practice questions, and expert insights to help you succeed. Thanks for watching! If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on data analytics and career tips. And remember, no matter the stress, there is always a solution waiting in the data.